Start up again. Okay. We've now come all the way to here. I'm going to get a little bit more here. That's a little bit more noticeable. Than I want. I could replace the sandpaper at this point. But I'll keep on going for a little bit. This is uh, building up with paint now, so I'm going to retire it. Forget this just has water. Now it has water plus detergent. Once you get a sandpaper that's kind of built up, the paint that's jammed in it can start to scratch the surface of the piano. Now, this new sandpaper is a whole different bag. It'll cut much faster. I have to be much gentler with it. You can see it's that's already through. In other words, there's nothing under that but a little bit of a little bit of finish. So I don't really want to press on it. Okay. okay, now that I didn't like the sound of that. I don't like to hear any zippy noises. That means that something is uh, Putting some friction there, I don't like that. So I come in and that's the sound I want. Smooth. See, as this loads up with paint for the first time, those little dots can start to affect how easily it smooths over, rides over the piano. So the trick is keep that lubrication really coming and coming and coming and coming. To that water. This is our new big line, the one I'm working right here. This is the first casework I've ever done. I'm not really a paint guy, but I'm not unhappy to have a chance to hone these skills. Again, you can see how heavily I'm lubricating this new piece of... I'm gonna go wash it. It's gumming up faster than the others did. I think it's because there's more bumps that it's sanding on. Get in here. Really, really, really clean it up. I want a friction free, easy moving, well lubricated sanding block here. That's what my goal is. So I'm listening very carefully to the sounds of this. That's correct. It's biting quite a bit, I can hear that, but I don't hear any sounds of a problem. <clears throat> now, to speak to another point, 
how am I going to match the whole case in terms of its look? And the answer is, after I get through with this sanding, I'm going to hand polish with compounds and I'll do the whole piano with those, even though it didn't really need it, but it did because this black will be richer in color than the other because the other lacquer on this piano is oxidized just a little bit. Now we're going to pick up our next line of problems, right? We have this, this, this is our next line here. And so our work. As soon as I tire, I'm going to quit. But, you know, I'm not pushing too much harder than the smallest amount I could, could provide. Hear that to tick, to tick, to tick, to tick, to tick. That's the front edge of the block of wood catching the high point. That's what we want here, right? Because it's working the high point. That's what our goal is. Now it's starting to grab more. It's just because it needs more lubrication. See that beautiful sound? That's the sound I like to hear. Wet, lubricated, still nice bite. So I'm starting to get the optimal portion of the life of the sandpaper now where it's already smooth some. You can see I have a bump here. blowing the goop right off of this uh, sandpaper, as you can see, with that water bottle there. I can use it to just push the dirt right off the sandpaper. So I don't have to go over the sink all the time. Now see, this is an example here, this line here, it's probably as, almost as far as I need to go with it in terms of its removal. I can see that it moves very nicely now. Let's clean it up. Okay, now we, this was the one being worked on for the past four minutes or so. It's not totally gone, but I, I, do, I said I don't have to get the thing out completely because I'll be hand polishing and it can take out some too. So now we can move from here over. And just so I understand quickly where I'm at, I'm gonna mark it here. So here we go into, I'm not going to worry about this anymore. I'm going to get onto this, into this, into this, and this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and mark this sector from here to here, just so I, you know, know where I am. Let's see what we're doing time-wise. 